Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of the High Functioning Human podcast where you get to connect with yourself, guess what, as a high functioning human. And today I want you to learn to daydream with intent and live with purpose. This is basically a follow on from one of my recent blogs which is about nurturing your dreams. Why would you put a baby on a tightrope? Today I want to expand on how to harness emotional trimness and how to use your dreams to shape your life. This approach is about more than just daydreaming, it's about using your emotional energy to mould your life into the version of your life that you desire it to be. The first obvious question when it comes to this is what does it mean to be emotionally trim? Being emotionally trim is about having a streamlined emotional state instead of letting your emotional energy get scattered in every direction. You're basically learning to direct it in a purposeful way. Just like a scuba diver aims to be physically trim to move gracefully underwater, being emotionally trim involves managing your emotions so that they propel you forward towards your goals rather than holding you back or getting distracted by spending your emotions unwisely. And it's a really interesting thing when you're talking about how you spend your emotions because when you're excited about something or when you read something in the news that heightens your emotional state, it's important to be able to figure out how you're investing your emotions. Like, do you want to be invested in what you're hearing in the news? Do you want to be invested in something that you're super excited about? The answer might be yes to some of those things, but I think it's worth considering those points rather than just expending your emotional energy because it's really important. So the second obvious question is, how can you improve your emotional trimness? A powerful technique to become more aware of your emotional happenings is actually visualisation. You can try this exercise. So close your eyes and envisage your emotions. Witness them as like a stream of coloured light flowing within you. And each colour represents a different emotion or a different aspect of your life. And just take a moment to really be present to that. Visualise these streams converging into a focused beam of light, directing towards a clear image of what your goal is. And then feel the energy as it aligns with your aspirations. This is a really simple practice, but this practice can help you channel your emotional energy towards your dreams. So make sure to really give it the time it deserves. You might find that you want to pause and consider what your goal is before you start directing your emotions towards it. However, if you take the time to do that, it will be quite transformative to really have that channel of energy going towards that goal. So how can transforming stored emotions into dynamic energy fuel those dreams? Your emotions are like a reservoir of power. And by harnessing this energy, much like steam propels a locomotive, you can channel it into actionable steps that drive you towards your goals. And as an actionable step, incorporating journaling into your daily routine, you know I love journaling, will, take, will allow you to take the time to actually reflect on your day and noting down your emotional responses and their triggers. And that can be really useful. Assess how these emotions either align with or diverge from what your goals are. This practice of introspection can help you to understand and streamline your emotional responses to them and actually, actually allow you to align your emotional states with your path and that will create success in your life. So let's wrap this up because you know I like to keep things short and sweet. Emotional trimness and focused daydreaming are a key to living a purposeful life. Your daydreams are attainable when you are efficiently channeling your emotional energy towards the things that you desire. Trust your instincts and follow your intuition. If you want to delve deeper into any of these concepts or have any questions, I encourage you to comment below and I'd love to hear your thoughts and continue this conversation because there's a lot more to this. Remember, the world needs your voice and the magic it brings to us all. I highly recommend you jump on my mailing list because then you'll get a notification to let you know when the next podcast is out. Plus, there's some special things I only share in email. 
I look forward to chatting with you next time on High Functioning Human Podcast. Take care and talk soon. Are we on? Are we rolling? Are we ready? <laughs> we'll get there, ladies. We'll get there. <laughs> more responsibility. <laughs> Much like a stream propels a locomotive. Sorry, steam, not a stream. Stream in a locomotive <laughs> is an interesting idea, but not quite the vibe we're going for. Let's wrap this up because you know I like to keep things... Cl- what did I say a minute ago? You want to delve deeper into these... No, that doesn't work, sorry.